everyone. Thank you for coming to Horror Realm. This is I'm Travis Bruce, and today is 2B Tuesday. So if you're new to the channel, every Tuesday I do a review of a movie from that little fun free app called Tubi. And today I am going to be doing Stephen Kang's, not Stephen King, Stephen Kang's Sharks in the Corn, which was a 2021 release. Where did I start? This is non-spoiler, by the way. So pretty much this movie follows... It's in Kentucky, Drew Hill, Kentucky. I don't know if that's a real city, but it's in Drew Hill, Kentucky. And there's some sharks in the corn that are killing people. You say, Travis, how the, how the hell do the sharks survive in the corn? Listen, the explanation in the movie doesn't make any sense, so I'm not even trying to explain it. And there's like 10 other different stories going on in, in this movie. Besides that, there's a shark cult. There's a serial killer who kills prostitutes, and he has this big shark mandible that he kills him with there's a cia agent there's a mafia who's looking for this alien shark thing it's like a billion different stories going on so let's mean let's shoot to the positives and and the negatives real quick positives this movie is absolutely ridiculous it is laughable ridiculous and i don't know if they meant it to be that way i don't think so but it's laughable ridiculous the the production value is horrible um, I'm going to tell you two um, ones that I just laughed at. There was one where they're in a cornfield. There's two cops in a cornfield. And they're talking on the radio to each other. And a camera cuts it over. And they're standing like two feet from each other. Having a conversation on a walkie-talkie. Ridiculous. And there was like another one where like the mafia. Hey, guys, he's flying this toy helicopter. It's clearly a toy. And he has, and he's talking on it. And he has like a karaoke microphone with the headset. Ridiculous. Let's shoot over to the negatives. The negatives. I love bad movies. I love B movies. But I need to follow the story. This movie is batshit crazy. It's all over the place. I, I'm assuming whoever was doing or produced or wrote this movie was definitely high on marijuana. Because... This movie makes absolutely no sense. It's jumping all over the place from story to story to story. And the stories don't even come together. It doesn't make sense. I need, in my B movie, I need to I need to be able to follow it. I can I cannot follow this. I cannot tell you. I couldn't do a spoiler review because I don't know what the fuck happened. You know, it was that crazy. So, all together, I would give this movie a 2 out of 5. I'm giving it a 2 out of 5 because... Once again, there's. I would watch this movie just for the laugh out of it. If you are 420 friendly, this would be a great movie to watch, I'm pretty sure. Um, but it doesn't make any sense. Like, it doesn't... I need some kind of story. I need to... Oh, well, that kind of makes sense. Just think about it. Sharks in, in the cornfield don't make no fucking sense. So, like, this movie, it makes absolutely no sense. It jumps all over the place. You don't know who's who. There's way too many characters. It's fun, but it wasn't fun. All right, guys. Well, if you like my review, if you want to see more of it, please hit that like and that subscribe button. Right next to it, there's a little bell, too. That's a notification. I post videos daily. And I purchase, I mean, I put up all kind of content. Horror, 2B Tuesday, burgers, everything. All right, guys. Thank you for coming to the Horror Room. I'm Travis Bruce. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.